So satisfying. Hello guys, um, welcome back to another vlog, vlogmas, vlog. Um, so yeah, it's Wednesday today and I've actually just been spending the morning fiddling around and setting this up. I got the new iPhone, which was a little bit kind of delayed. Um, I didn't really want to get it when it came out, but I've been having so many problems with my old one um the camera quality i think the camera quality on iphones is pretty good but this one which is i don't even know what this is just never really seemed to work that well for me so i upgraded for the purposes of having like a better camera because it's got this funky three camera situation going on which we'll we'll see if it works it's still setting up at the moment so i need to let that get on with what it's doing i got the green case which I actually quite like, it's a bit different. I was thinking about taking myself for a bit of a outing today. Uh, it's freezing, but it looks like a quite a nice sunny day. So I kind of just wanted to go for a walk, just get out of the house a bit. Um, you can probably hear why. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot of building works going on at the moment, which is frustrating, as we all probably know. It really starts to get to you. And also I feel like I haven't really been out of the house much uh, over the past week. It's been a very busy week with Black Friday. It just kind of ends up being one of those weeks where you're stuck in the house pretty much the whole time. I'm gonna sit down here. Oh no, I'm not because it's Christmas decorations sitting there. Still have to unpack these and get that done. Um, yeah, it just turns into like a very much being stuck in the house kind of week. This t-shirt is really frustrating me. I think I'll probably take um, the dog out too, which will slow me down considerably and I won't get anywhere near as far, but uh, there she goes. But um, yeah, she deserves a walk. This is what I will be wearing on my walk today. Um, I've wrapped up quite snug, I've got a hat on and everything. Um, from top to bottom, this hat is from ASOS. I have a Zara black coat on, the Zara black coat on. The navy jumper that I've been wearing is from Arquette. And I have a weekday t-shirt underneath it and a Daisy London gold chain. These jeans are H&M, they are really nice, like just very casual, loose fit. Straight leg jeans in like a blue wash, which I don't really wear that often. I was feeling a bit blue today. And then I also have on my supergars, just my plain like plimsoll supergars and some white socks from Muji. Uh, also this bag is from Mango and I get so many questions about it. They don't make this anymore, it's a couple of years old. And it is one that I reach for all the time. I was thinking it's something to do with the fact that it's a black crossbody bag, which especially in winter is like my go-to. Um, so this morning I had a little potter and a browse and I have actually ordered a new bag which is on its way to me. Um, it's a Sophie Hulme bag and I'm so excited for it to come. Um, it was a really, really good price for a, like a high-end designer bag and um, I'll probably show you it in a vlog when it's here. Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow or the day after, but I can't wait. So yes, I've kind of upgraded my black across body bag because this one is I mean, it's held up so well, but it is kind of falling apart just a little bit. It's also a bucket style, which I always feel a bit paranoid about walking around, especially here in London, because, you know, there's nothing to close it and anybody could put their hand in. So, yeah, I had a little bit of a spendy, spendy morning. Um, anything else? Oh, also, on my lips today, I have a new lipstick. This is from Lisa Eldridge. I have yet to try any of her products. She's bought out lipsticks. I think it's just lipsticks. Um... But I ordered this when I saw that she'd done a new release because it just looked amazing. It's the most incredible nude colour. Absolutely, like, stunning. It actually looks a bit darker in the bullet, but I think it's just because the actual formula and the texture, can you see that, is so matte. It just looks like velvet. So beautiful. Um, so this is, I'm not actually sure what her lipsticks are called. Also, the packaging is so cute. Not sure what these are, but it's in the shade Velvet Fawn. Um, if it's still available, I will link it down below. But that is what I have on my lips today. I did have on some lip balm. Um, I always put my Glossier Mango lip balm on in the morning. So it kind of mixed with that. It doesn't look quite as matte as it maybe should. Um, but it still feels so good. And the pigment, the colour payoff was great. So I have that on my lips. And also, I was using this this morning. I've just sprayed some more now. It's a new release. I think this is their newest or well, latest launch. And they just sent it to me. So thank you very much, Joe Malone. Um... And it's Rose and Magnolia, and I wasn't sure what to make of that, but I smelt it, and oh my god. It smells 
incredible. I'm gonna put some more on now because I just want to. But I love the scent of rose. It's like a very citrusy, uplifting rose. It doesn't really feel heavy or like a normal rose scent. It's so, so good. I also really like this packaging, which is in this like navy blue bottle. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I will be wearing that, I think, for the foreseeable. It's weird because Jo Malone always reminds me of Christmas. Um, it's not a particularly festive scent, I wouldn't say, unless Rose reminds you of uh, the festive period. But I think it's because I got my very first Jo Malone perfume around this time of year, um, around Christmas. And that was years and years ago, so it always kind of brings me back and I associate it with Christmassy time. So quite excited about that one. Guys, it's the most beautiful afternoon here in the park today. Everything is orange. It's stunning. Um, this one's getting her little sniff action in. It's not usually much of a walk when I'm with her. It's more of a sniff as many things as possible at a very gentle pace. She doesn't really do much in terms of running. Uh, that is not her style. I just saw two people carrying a massive Christmas tree home, which um, made me think of mine and Joe's adventure this weekend, getting ours back. Actually, he did most of the lifting, let's be honest. Making friends. <laughs> you are such a scaredy cat. We had a complete puppy interruption there. <laughs> which I don't think she enjoyed very much. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, what was I saying? Christmas trees, yeah. People taking their Christmas trees home um, because they're selling them here in the park. And it just feels, feels so nice. Love this time of year. So, I've just got back from my walk. Oh, wow, okay. Let me just fix my hair a second. Um, I did straighten it this morning. Actually, I didn't straighten it. I used the GHG Glide which is like a hot rush type thing, but I don't know if that's done the best job of keeping it like that. My hair does have quite a wavy texture anyway, texture, um, so that's probably bound to happen going outside. Anyway, so, um, can you see me here? I've had this box sitting in my bathroom for a little while, and um, I thought I'd talk to you about it today, because it's kind of like the end of the month, or the beginning of a new month, and uh, instead of doing a favourites, I thought I would do an empties. Very old school, I know, but uh, I've been collecting empty products again for some reason. I just felt the need and the urge to share them with you and um, started chucking them in this basket when I was done with them. So let's talk empties. I'm just going to pull these out at random. Some of these are not actually all entirely empty, I've just noticed. This one still has stuff in it. Um, but this is from Clarence. It's the Water Comfort One Step Cleanser. I think I remember now I put this in here because it got um, chucked in the sink when it was open, so there's some like water in there, more so than product. Um, but yeah, I use this all the time, especially when I'm going to like work out or to run in the morning, and I want my skin to be like cleansed a little bit, but I don't really have the time or the energy to do a proper like routine. So I put this on a reusable cotton pad and um, just like wipe it all over my face and then I'll usually put SPF on instead of moisturizer because I'm, I'm going outside but I don't wanna like pack on a ton of layers of skincare because there's no need I'm gonna sweat it off or you know, it's, it's gonna get washed off like an hour later anyway. So that's like an essential for me when I'm exercising. And um, yeah, this is actually the SPF that I have been using. It is from Kiehl's. It's one of my like all time favorites. Used it for years and years and years. Um, the Ultralight Daily UV Defense uh, SPF 50. PA++++. They've added a plus. It used to only be three pluses. Uh, no idea what those actually mean, but it's really great SPF. Um, really good protection and also, you know, it feels light on my skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a really heavy SPF. There's two different versions. This one's actually the original and then there's a light version. I like this because to me it's like, it's a good enough moisturizer just to go with on its own. And then I have, what's this? I have a face mask. I've been using these Sarah Chapman uh, Skin Assists 3D Moisture Infusion Masks when I've been having a facial. So I go to uh, Alex Eagle, which is in Soho, and that is where they have skin work. Um, and it's just the best facial I've had. 
Uh, so I kind of keep going back there. I, I got gifted uh, the first treatment that I had and I just keep, I keep going back because it's so good. They really work on um, deeply like cleansing out your skin, lots of extractions, things like that. Um, and I usually get a chemical peel when I go there. So I always do one of these when I get back just to like lock some moisture back in um, because a peel can be quite drying for your skin. Uh, I've got a few glossiers in here. This is like a standard, which I feel two ways about. So this is the Glossier Body Hero um, Body Oil. It's the Daily Oil Wash. I use this every single day. There is no other shower product um, or like body wash that I can use. This to me is just the best thing ever. It doesn't dry my skin out. It feels like moisturizing when I get out of the shower rather than dry. And you know, it's just such a good product. The thing is I use it every day, sometimes twice a day. <laughs> and I go through it so quickly and I hate that I'm using so much plastic um, because it's a plastic bottle. I wish Glossier would do some kind of like refill pack. You just buy one of these and then they could ship out like, you know, a pouch or something that you could pour in. That would be amazing. Um, but I, it's just the best shower product. I can't use anything else. And the other thing I have in here, which is um, it's pretty much empty, there's not much left in here is their makeup remover. It's the Milky Oil. I really liked this. I wasn't a massive fan of the Milky Gel Cleanser. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. It's very strange. It completely depends on what my skin is like that day. Um, and sometimes I have like a craving to use it. Anyway, um, this one I use every day to take off my eye makeup. I'll normally cleanse my face with like a oil or a cream or something like that. Um, but you know, I don't like to rub too hard with a cloth around my eyes, so I just use this as like a final step to make sure everything is off. Um, it does say makeup remover, but I wouldn't use this around my face because it is a biophase one, it's like an oil split with um, a lotion. So yeah, just use that as eye makeup remover and that is gone. I actually have a brand new one sitting here so you can see what it is supposed to look like. And I will be using that tonight. Um, something else in it. These are both cleansers actually. Okay, so this one is another like empties staple. I go through these so much. Not as much as the body wash, but I definitely um, get my way through an Oscar cleansing gel. Don't really need to talk too much about this because I'm sure you know by now, but it's my favourite cleanser of all time. I actually ran out of this a while ago and I haven't really purchased it yet because I haven't gotten around to it. So I started using this instead. Um, I kind of, when it comes to cleansers, pick and choose depending on how much makeup I have on or what my skin's like. So this is the La Roche-Posay Makeup Remover Milk for sensitive skin, which is supposed to be something you use on like a cotton pad to take your makeup off. Don't do that. Just pump this into your hand and use it like you would do a cleansing oil. It's so good. And I actually stuck to using this until um, I finished it because I was really happy with what it was doing for my skin. It's very moisturising, great if you have sensitive skin. I actually um, repurchased quite a few La Roche-Posay products last month because my skin was having a bit of a freak out. Not quite sure why, but um, I always go back to that brown when my skin's not doing its best because it, it just calms it down and they're such simple, easy, like French pharmacy products that you can really trust them to just fix things. And then the last thing I have in here, this isn't completely empty and I'm so sad about this. It's, I'd say there's this much left, but I can't use it because if you can hear, I actually dropped this on the floor and I smashed the glass pipette that it comes with. So I can't really use this because there's shards of glass inside that. Joe's just come home. Hiya. Um, I can't use it because, you know, that's, that's not very safe. But um, it does make me sad. This is Sarah Chapman's Skin Assist Intense Hydrating Booster, the best hyaluronic acid based serum. Really great if you have dehydrated, dry skin that gets flaky. Great if you have oily skin as well. I think having a hyaluronic acid serum in your routine is, is like an essential. So I will have to repurchase this one. It is quite expensive. <laughs> it's not the uh, most budget friendly of skincare products, but it's so worth it. As you know, with all Sarah Chapman products. They're just amazing. So there's my little basket of empties. And now I can go and recycle these. Oh, hello. Hi. I saw you coming through the window. Hi. I left my phone in the car again. Oh, every time. Every time. We just went for a big walk. Did she be in the park? Mm -hmm. You've been walking. 
Made some friends. Is that why you smell dodgy? It's okay, I'm done now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the attention she gets. I don't get anything like this when he comes home. Hi hey everyone. So, um, I have had a bit of a frustrating evening, to say the least. Um, since I last saw you, I've been editing the vlog. There she goes. Not quite sure what she's about to do. Um, I've been editing the vlog and getting more and more annoyed. Basically, uh, the new camera that I've been filming on, which I showed you guys um, on the first Vlogmas, the Sony that I bought, which is supposed to be way, way better quality, is basically just terrible. And I have fiddled and played and changed with the settings just for hours on end, and it, it just doesn't seem to want to work for me so about half of this vlog is uh is filmed on that camera so it's probably not something that you're all gonna notice because uh first of all i have just spent the last couple of hours trying to fix it and missed everything that i was gonna do this evening including going to yoga which as you can see i'm dressed for that's not happened um so yeah i've been trying to fix it i think it's a bit better but it's still not great um and also it's just some of those things that you know, I am going to notice and you probably aren't. Um, but it frustrates me because I hate putting stuff out that I don't feel good about. And, um, you know, I like to make my videos as high quality as possible. And when you don't have the tools to allow you to do that, it's, um, it's just quite frustrating. So yeah. That's been my evening. It got to the point where I was thinking, am I just gonna scrap this video? Should I just get rid of it completely? Um, which, you know, on any other occasion I may have done, but seeing as it is Vlogmas and, you know, we're trying to do a daily thing here, I don't really want to do so. I decided I'm just gonna end this vlog here, put it up, and then I'm gonna try and go out and do a yoga class. Um, I've missed my normal Wednesday one, and I think by the time I'm finished up here, there won't be any more classes on, but if not, I'm just gonna go to the gym, try and get a run in and uh, release my frustrations that way. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Um, tomorrow, hopefully we can get back vlogging on this camera, which although has a giant crack across the screen, is 10 times better than the other expensive one that I bought. So I will see you guys then uh, for the next Vlogmas. And yeah, that is it for me today. Bye.